This video will outline the difference between parallel line and creeping line searches, as well as how to generate the searches using the Raymarine Axiom software. Parallel line search patterns are employed in scenarios where the search area is extensive and the exact location of a distressed craft or individual is uncertain. This method involves conducting search legs that run parallel to the main axis of the search area. It can be executed by one or more vessels. This pattern is most effective in rectangular or square areas, particularly over water. The search vessels begin from one corner of the search area and follow parallel paths. Each subsequent path remains parallel to the previous one and is spaced at a consistent distance. The first leg of the search always runs parallel to the drift line. If the calculated drift line is 270 degrees, the vessel will run the first leg at 270 degrees. A creeping line search pattern would be used when there is a stronger probability of the craft, or person in distress, being closer to one end of the search area. The search asset creeps across the drift line several times, as it works its way down the search pattern. Creeping line searches focus on the area with highest probability of detection first. If the calculated drift is due east or 090 degrees, then search legs would be north and south or 000 and 180 degrees. Both creeping line and parallel line search patterns can be executed by a single vessel or multiple search assets. When generating the search patterns on the chart plotters, the track spacing as indicated by the NATSA manual should be used. This gives the best probability of detection of your search target based on target characteristics, weather, and fatigue of crew. The start point is always half the track spacing within the search area. That means an area of 6 nautical mile square with half a nautical mile track spacing will generate search legs of 5.5 nautical mile. The start point will also be a quarter of a nautical mile in from the search area perimeter. The chart plotters have four different types of search patterns available, including expanding square and sector searches, both of which are best run by a single search asset. Parallel line, also known as parallel track, and creeping line searches are what we will focus on. These can be used by single or multi-search assets over larger areas. To generate search patterns, you will need to access the chart application from the home screen. To access the search menu, you can use the soft buttons on screen or the push buttons and joystick on the right side of the screen. To generate a search pattern, press the hamburger menu, then waypoints routes and tracks, routes, searches, and new search. You will see the four search options displayed. We will select creeping line. If you want to use the start point as the location of the vessel, press the target icon, otherwise press the coordinates to enter parameters. Our start point is 33 degrees, 48 decimal 752 south, 151 degrees, 20 decimal 825 east. Confirm the coordinates, then press save. An animation appears on screen of the search area. We are going to use the option defined by axis and set the creep direction as 135 degrees. The animation changes based on the input direction. This value is the drift direction. The animation shows the drift line as a blue line in the middle of the search area. We can now adjust the major and minor axis as required. The major axis is with the drift line, and the minor axis is across the drift line. For our example, we will use 6 and 4 nautical miles. Next, we will enter the track spacing as 1 nautical mile. Notice the animation updates the search area around the start point, being half a nautical mile in from the search perimeter. After checking the parameters, press Create Search Route. Here is our search pattern overlaid on the chart. To follow, press the route on screen and select follow. The chart plotter will navigate you to the start point, then follow the route through each turning point. If you have finished with the search pattern, you can press on it and select more options, then delete. 
Remember to always keep any search patterns in real situations for future analysis. We will now generate a parallel line search using the same start point and search area. Press the hamburger menu, then waypoints routes and track routes, then search and new search. Select parallel line. Enter the same coordinates. 33 degrees, 48 decimal 752 south. 151 degrees, 20 decimal 825 east and after confirming the coordinates, press save. Again an animation appears on screen. Update the track spacing, we will use one nautical mile, for this example. Notice, the title of the drift line is now stated as initial action, as the first leg will always be the same direction as the drift line. We will update to 135 degrees, similar to our previous example. The blue line in the animation, again shows the drift direction. To make our search area the same, we will leave the major axis as 6, and adjust the minor axis to 4 nautical miles. When you have reviewed the parameters of the search, press, create search route. The search pattern is now overlaid on the chart. You can see the main search legs, now run parallel to the drift line, and perpendicular to the previous, creeping line search. Looking at the two search patterns side by side, both cover the same area. A creeping line search creeping across the drift line, several times during the search. The parallel line search has the main search legs, parallel to the drift line. Both searches create all parameters required to run the search, with each turn being a waypoint, courses to steer, and leg distances based on your input. Remember, Research suggests that the 12 to 24 hour period after a distress incident is critical for survivors' recovery with the highest chance of success during this time. After 48 hours, the likelihood of successful recovery decreases rapidly. If you would like to know more about search and rescue, visit the Marine Rescue Port Jackson website and navigate to the SAR Tools page. Alternatively, scan the QR code on the screen now. Thank you for watching this video.